Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a grade school exclusive. These are the Air Jordan 4, and they're known as the Messy Room. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome today we're going to be discussing a sneaker that i've honestly had for a very long time i'm finally just getting to it but these are the air jordan 4 messy rooms and again these were a grade school exclusive so definitely limited in that size range we're going to start off with the overview on these jump into size and fit followed by how i styled this pretty quirky colorway then we'll conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market in case you missed out on these and still want to reach back and grab a pair so let's jump right into it it. This is definitely a really just cool collaboration of different materials. So if you can kind of see on the front of the toe box region there, we've got that patent leather and this nice blue tone. This is a different blue that I don't really have so much in my sneaker collection. I actually am wearing a sweatshirt that kind of matches it perfectly, but this can be a difficult blue to match, but definitely I feel like it goes great with the color combinations that they selected to go with on the sneaker. We then have some new buck on the front of the toe box and then for the caging system, it is in a white colorway with nice simplistic blue laces that match that Jumpman logo on top. Underneath we have more of a cream off-white sail colorway and then on the inner lining we've got red with some multiple colors for the Air Jordan logo. So let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling. All right, so wrapping around to the side paneling, we've got more of that blue that hits the sides and then the white caging on the side paneling. The eyelet has a nice kind of golden -y brown tone, uh, which I think is nice. It's complementary to the other hues that you see. And then on the back, we've got the Jumpman logo in blue on top of that white pull tab. And then wrapping around to the lateral side, we still have that same exact color combination. Working our way to the bottom of the midsole, we've got a crisp white colorway with a clear bubble. And then on the very bottom, the sneakers finish out with white and red for the outsole. Let's take a look at those last and final details. All right, so as far as size and fit goes, again, this came only in grade school sizing. So if you didn't make the cut specifically in women's above that uh, below eight and a half, unfortunately the highest size range for women was eight and a half. I'm able to squeeze in a pair of these. I would definitely say six true to size. The fours do typically run um, true to your actual size range. I uh, do have high arch narrow feet. So depending on whether or not you have flatter or wider feet, that could differentiate a size that works different for me since we do have different types of feet. All right, now let's jump into styling. For this look, I decided to wear a nice 
spring fresh look. So I wore this short mini dress that has a plaid print throughout. And again, just some nice similar blue hues that I felt like matched this to a tee. pretty simple with this crew neck sweatshirt perfect colors with this sports team so had to wear this with it and this is from the brand core uh, they have some of the coolest vintage pieces so if you love sports teams and representing them they have the best vintage gear around and then I paired it with these light denim pants dress it up a bit so I decided to go with this maxi dress and it's got some of the same kind of color concepts going on with the sneakers so definitely a fun way to just kind of make this a more dressy fun look. Now let's conclude with housing you're currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $140 and they are currently going around that retail price point. So if you didn't snag a pair back when these released, definitely check these out on the resale end. All right, everybody, that is it for this unboxing and review. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shea TV. We will catch you all next episode.